getting published in medical school. I can't believe I'm talking about this because when I started medical school, I said I was never going to do research ever again. And now I am doing research in residency by choice because I love it. <laughs> so I want to talk to you guys about research today, y'all. So if this is your first time ever watching any one of my videos, welcome. My channel is for anyone who is thinking about or currently training in medicine. I give advice based on my own life experiences. And today we're talking about how to get research, how to get into research, how to get published. Let me explain to you guys why I think research is important. So first of all, just coming from a competitive standpoint, step one is turning to pass fail in 2022. And you know, you need another way for your your application to stand out and research is a great opportunity to do that. Pro residency programs love to see research, especially when you're looking at the more competitive res residency programs. Additionally, just when it comes to science moving forward, medicine moving forward, we need research. There's so many unanswered questions in, in medicine and we need leaders like you to be on the ground, figuring out ways on how we can improve medicine. So let's talk about how you can get involved in research. So the number one tip I have for you guys is determine what topics you're interested in. So when I started medical school, I didn't even know what field I really was interested in. And I was just like, no, I'm not interested in, in research. But then I ended up interested in global health. And then so I started doing a research project in that. And then I started in, um, being interested in diversity initiatives. So I started doing research projects in that. And then I started getting interested in dermatology and I did research projects in that as well. So first determine what are you interested in. That's the, really the only way you're going to enjoy your research projects. It can be from either clinical, clinical or basic science. I really more prefer clinical. Then you can also think about health disparities, population health, public health. There's so many, there's so many different things, um, avenues you can go when it comes to research. You really could just make it your own. Just think about what are, what are you looking for when it comes to research? What at least what kind of topics are you interested in? So what people ask me all the time is where do I get these research projects from? And the answer is everywhere around you. So for example, like I said before, I was in organizations that um, I had questions about, like I had questions about, you know, what I was doing and I made it into a research project. But the more common way that people do get research projects is really the faculty and residents. Um, faculty and residents are very, very busy, but they have research projects they're working on. So they would love for medical students to be part of those projects. So if you have a lecturer that comes to your um, class and is lecturing and you hear that they are doing research, you can always just shoot them an email afterwards or if you're having in-class um, lectures now, you can go up to them and ask them in person if you can join their projects. Um, you can also just do a Google search on whatever institute you are at and see what different research projects are happening at that institute and you just reach out to whoever's research projects sound interesting to you. Um, always, you, um, there are so many different faculty who are just pumping out research projects. Find one of them and be part of those projects. You know, you just email them, say, hey, my, hi, hello, a little bit more professional than hey. Um, good evening, good morning. My name is so-and-so. I am a whatever your student, I am interested in whatever topic and I'm interested in working on you, one of your projects. Um, if you don't know what projects they have, you can say, I know that you focus a lot on a certain topic and I wanted to know if you have any projects that a student can, and can become involved in. There's no reason to be nervous about this because really faculty and residents are looking for students to join their projects. They are hoping that there are students that who can join their projects as a resident. I currently, at this moment, have 10 medical students working with me on projects. Like, I mean, it's so helpful because I'm so busy. Um, so there's there's definitely opportunity. So don't feel afraid to ask. Just be professional about it and be honest about it. Um, there's also, depending on some people, they may not have um, the faculty that they specifically want to do research with at their institute. Look at neighboring institutes and even neighboring practices 
There could be practices around you where the research is being done and you can be a part of that as well. So just always be on the lookout. It's out there. You just have to go and look for it. Um, sometimes it could just, it could come, it could be offered to you. But a lot of times you have to just go out there yourself and um, get it. Another way you can get projects is being part of societies. There's so many um, organizations and societies that in medicine, so let's say you're interested in neurology, the, the neurology societies on the local, state, and nation level all exist. And you can um, be part of their virtual seminars, their conferences, and uh, people will talk about what projects they're doing, what opportunities there are, and you can ask to be part, and you can reach out to those faculty who are presenting those projects and ask to be a part of them as well. Another tip of where you actually can find projects, I almost forgot, is uh, staying alert on your rotation. So like when I was on rotations, I actually saw really interesting cases where the resident would be like, oh, we can write this case up or the the attending would be like, oh, this will be a really great case to write up. Jump on those projects if you need the project. When I was offered those, I actually felt a little bit overwhelmed because I was working on a lot of other different things. So I didn't take those opportunities, but be on the lookout for that. You, If you're really involved on a patient and you start doing like lit reviews and you're like, wait, this is, this, this is not in the literature. You can even offer, hey, Dr. So-and-so, is it okay if I write this patient up in a case report? or whatever it is, or if I can do a project on something like this, and they'll let you know if it's if the case is good. Really, you know, I always try to stress to you guys that your success in medicine is up to you. You'll get it if you want it, if you go after it. So if you're a alert on your rotations, you'll get the opportunities. Like I said, I had those opportunities too. So just be on the lookout when you're on your rotations, even when you're shadowing and you see a really cool case, you can always bring that up to your um to your attendings the next thing is to be realistic about a timeline so i know when i first started i didn't really know about the different kind of papers there are but case reports are one of the easiest papers you can do because they're usually shorter to write up versus like an original article or a cross-sectional study um sometimes you can hop on a project that's been being worked on for years um, so be realistic with your timeline. If, you've, if you're a first year, you have a little bit more time to work on more intensive projects. However, if you're a third year, um, even like an early fourth year, and you're trying to get projects knocked out the way, you want to get work on some case reports. So like I told you guys, I got interested in dermatology later on in my third year. So I did work on case reports. I also did an original article as well. And that took like 10 months. And after I graduated, it was published. So definitely be realistic about a timeline about what kind of papers you want to work on. And if you really are crunched for time, I think it's a great, when you are reaching out to faculty and residents and asking to be part of their projects, let them know I'm looking for a project where I can complete prior to applying for my residency applications. Just something like that, be honest, because then you'll be really frustrated if you can't, if you, you know, hop on a project that has like no end sight anywhere near the anywhere anytime soon a question that i have also received is how did i how did i actually write the paper like how did i know what to write really you're going to be guided by your by your attending your faculty and your and the residents you won't be told to hey just work on this project and there you go like no they would work with you and usually when you reach out to an attending or resident and you ask it for a project depending on how involved the project is or what needs to be done in the project they'll ask you what your background is and if your background doesn't fit the criteria they may tell you no i actually never experienced that all the projects that i've worked on i was really guided through now of course they're not holding your hand they will tell you like hey write up this irb and then you'll have to do the research on like what documents need to be filled out actually do a thorough attempt of trying to write up the IRB and then send it into the faculty and the faculty will be like, hey, no, this needs to be worked on a little bit more. This is what you might need to put in. This is what you might need to put in. So they won't, they won't hold your hand, but they definitely will guide you. Don't worry about the fact that you may not have any experience in research or this might be your first research project. You will get the help, especially faculty. They um, have worked with medical students before, so you won't be the first and you won't be the last. So just be honest about where you are at in your research experience so they know of where to start and to work with you. Research projects is actually not as hard as it seems in the mindset. Like I said, I never wanted to do research. It seemed much more daunting. 
and it is really labor intensive sometimes it does you do have to put in a lot of work into it it can be very tiring it's very could be very detail oriented um but like i said if you're actually interested in the project that you're working on it'll be okay like it's it, it'll you'll enjoy it at the end it'll be very rewarding when the paper finally gets published even when it comes to choosing like for example the journal to be published in usually the faculty or the residents choose that as well so you really are super guided now if you're a pre-med student watching this and you're like oh i want to get published too you can take these same tips as well it's just i really do think that you guys will be able to get published with these tips um really it's all about staying alert being proactive of looking for projects, knowing what you want to um, get out of a project, and just being honest with yourself and whoever you're working on the project with, and just work hard. So if this was helpful, make sure to like my video. Let me know by liking it or at least letting me know in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to my channel so you know when I am dropping these gems for y'all. And if you're not already following me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram at the real skin I'm in underscore MD. I love chatting with y'all. I hope to see y'all at my next video. Have a good one. Bye.